also fell to the Reapers when Elysium was attacked, but Alliance forces were able to evacuate all the students. Spectre status recognized. Please select one moment, please. Now arriving at Huerta no, Memorial it. Hospital. Can I help you? I'm looking for a drell named Thane Krios. Well, we have a drell, but not under that name. He was injured, stab wound. He's a regular patient here. It's all right, it's all right. I see. The doctors were able to repair a lot of the trauma. However, Mr. Hmm. Krios is in the final stages of Keppel syndrome. At its worst, Keppel syndrome interferes with his blood's ability to carry oxygen and he lost a lot. Now they've given him transfusions, but frankly, there was a very limited supply of Drell blood on the Citadel. Is he still alive or not? Mr. Creo slips in and out of consciousness, and the outlook isn't good. It's hard to tell how much time he has. When he's awake, he's pretty lucid, never forgets anything. I think that helps. His son, Koliat, he's in there saying his goodbyes. You might want to say yours. Commander Shepard, my father mentioned you were no longer incarcerated. I don't know if you remember me. I'm Koliak Krios. I came to donate blood and, well, he asked me to take off his oxygen mask so he could be comfortable. I don't think it will be very long. Your father helped me save a lot of lives. I'd like to be here. Of course. Commander, I'm afraid I won't be joining you again. You've done more than enough, Thane. That assassin should be embarrassed. A terminally ill Drell managed to stop him from reaching his target. I'll pass the word along. There is something I must do before it gets worse. I must... Kalahira, mistress of inscrutable depths, I ask forgiveness. Kalahira, whose waves wear down stone and sand. Kalahira, wash the sins from this one and set him on the distant shore of the infinite spirit. Koyad, you speak as the priests do. You have been spending time with them. I brought a prayer book. Commander, would you care to join me? Kalahira, this one's heart is pure, but beset by wickedness and contention. Guide this one to where the traveler never tires, the lover never leaves. The hungry never starve. Guide this one, Kalahira, and he will be a companion to you as he was to me. Koyat? There's something I don't understand. His last moments were those of a hero. Why pray for salvation? The prayer was not for him, Commander. He has already asked forgiveness for the lives he has taken. His wish was for you. Goodbye, Fane. You won't be alone long.
forces struck back at Cerberus with a daring attack that disabled the Cerberus. Is that what we do? We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before. And we will run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the Administration Center made? I have. The situation is going to get worse. What's your point? We can't deny the facts. If we prioritize them, some of our patients are in a much better position to survive. If we take care of them first and ration our supplies, we can save some now, and enable ourselves to save more later. We cannot do that. We swore an oath to help the sick regardless of their economic situations or their places in society. Who are we to choose who lives or dies? That's not what we do. We help our patients, all of them. That's a nice sentiment, but it won't help when we run out of supplies. I've seen this happen in combat before. And we will run out of supplies. Have you seen the projections the Administration Center made? I have. The situation... Everyone makes sacrifices in wartime. You'll make yours sooner or later. I'm sure I will. But I'll do it without betraying my oath or my patience. It's not that simple. If we aren't careful about this now, we'll end up losing everyone. Then we'll find a way. Look, we have more fortunate patients, right? Yes. And I hate to say it, but the fortunate ones have far better survival odds. <laughs> and more credits. So we ask them for donations. To get more supplies. For those without credits. What? Are you saying what I think you're saying? That's... You know, that, that actually might work. got there duty roster for the students it's what I do for fun now they're dropping us into hot spots for hit and runs I'm making sure your bosses don't get my kids killed how are they holding up they're fine they're not the ones reading duty rosters while on shore leave complain if you like but I think military life suits you hey running back to the Alliance was your lifelong dream not mine come on plenty of combat free room and board and people you can depend on. Yeah, yeah. Maybe your little suicide squad taught me something about teamwork. Speaking of which, thanks. I didn't think my guys could cut it. I wanted to put them in the back ranks, but you believed, and you were right. They're kicking ass. It'd be a hell of a lot more fun with you. You find bigger fights. But the little shits are useless without me. I gotta stick with them. Because I'm dependable now, apparently. I blame you for this, Shepard. Come on. What? The duty rosters can wait. Right now, you're on shore leave. <laughs> Shepard, everybody knows you can't dance.
is a flexible biomimetic nanomaterial over a metallic skull. The skin uses sheer thickening technology to help protect the central processing unit in the head. If the skin is struck or shot, it solidifies to absorb the impact. It also is capable of limited self-healing. And what about the hair? It is of similar construction. For defense, I have set it to cohere into a solid piece. However, for infiltration purposes, it can be parted into individual strands. If it has recently been exposed to water, I generally can't do a thing with it. Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war. How is this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Are you sure that's a good idea? Edie's not Alliance personnel. There's no regulation against dating a ship's AI. I looked it up. Jeff, you have brittle bones. She's made of metal. Well, yeah, but... I... Yeah, you're right. It's stupid. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you've got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me... You know, Shepard, they have a lot of laws here. Lawyers. Don't get up, Arya. Just passing through. So the bar fights, the drunken disorderlies down by that purgatory place? How does cracking down on that crap help us win the war? People need to blow off steam right now. And how does letting the misdemeanors go help the war? Less time spent on the light stuff means the Citadel has more money for defense. Everyone on the Citadel knows we're at war now. You have to show them that CSEC is still in control. They need that security. The commander's right. We need people coming into work every day. We need things to keep running. Otherwise, today's bar fight could be tomorrow's street riot. Yeah, maybe you're right. This feels so damn petty right now. Commander Shepard, do you have a minute? Can I help you? Jordan Knowles, E-Crimes. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. I've got a saboteur hacking key systems, power, communications. It's bad. If you've got time to help, check out this console. Got it. it. Looks like a collection of access codes. They're Batarian diplomatic codes, from back when they had an embassy on the Citadel. If you can use your Spectre access to find them, I can shut them down. I can access restricted intel at the Spectre office in the embassy. If I find anything, I'll let you know. Joint 
Welcome to the Citadel gift shop. All proceeds from today's... Excuse me. I'm sorry. You need to hear this. Oh, Blue Rose of Ilium. If these humble words reach you, then I have joined my ancestors. No. No, no, no. My dream was to be by your side, a weed beside your beauty, twining together in the warm Tachanka sun. Oh, Char. But if my last days must be with Krant instead of kindness, still I will remember the perfume of your scent and the soft touch of your petals. <laughs> Let my broken bones build a wall around your garden so you and the flower we planted together can grow safe and strong. Thank you. Uh, I should... I need to go. have agents doing business in my cafe. We're trying to protect you. Tell the job you do. See those scorch marks? Cerberus killed one of my servers right there. Where were you? Hey, I lost Brent's too. If you care about finding the Cerberus informants who made it happen, you'll give me the bids. We're at war. If you care about the safety of the Citadel, you'll help CSAC however you can. Thank you, Commander. I have some high-profile customers. If word gets out that I'm ratting them out to CSEC... You think I care about insider trading or electronic smuggling right now? I'm after the bastards who attacked the city. Nobody else. You've got my word on it. All right. Just... I hope it helps. Hello, Shepard. Nice to see you. He ought to be locked up. Spectre status recognized. One please moment, please. Now arriving at docking bay E24. Emergency the civilian house. needs to understand what these refugees have been through. Can't you let me in? Wait, aren't you Commander Shepard? Solik Vast, documentary maker. Please, maybe you can help. I'm trying to document the stories of the refugees coming to the Citadel. Their loss, their sacrifices, their moments of bravery. Something holding you back? CSEC won't allow me on the docks. They say I'd be disruptive. But you could catch a few quick shots for me. Good idea. The galaxy should see what these refugees have been through. Thank you, Commander. That's exactly what I'm hoping for. If you could just take a few shots with your Omni-Tool in the refugee camp. I'll be here when you're done. Pressure's okay. No infection so far. Can I talk to him? Only if it's important, Commander. He's hurt bad. Take down the sedative a bit. Are you Gorek? 
<sighs> Go away. Nothing to say. Not even what a terrorist is doing on the Citadel? You! Do I know you? <laughs> Every Batarian with someone on Aratok remembers your face. The planet that got caught in the Alpha Relay explosion. You butcher a colony! Only regret... <laughs> Don't have the strength to... I destroyed Eratot's relay to stop the Reapers from pouring through. Pah! Easy for you to claim now that they're here. Don't pretend you have any remorse. No one here would even be alive if I hadn't destroyed that relay. I spent months taking heat for Eratot from both the Alliance and the Batarians. And you know what? If it saved the entire galaxy, I can live with that just fine. Then why don't you... you get rid of another Batarian for your precious galaxy. <laughs> Shut down this machine. Just let me die. I'm done here. Good. He'll cough himself to death without a sedative. No! <gasps> Wait, I... Oh. Just take it easy. There. After a tentative cure, the Jedi's current leaders have announced an alliance with the Tuvian military against the Reapers. Lieutenant Commander Ashley Murphy is the same. Shepard! You saved my life again. What happened? Cerberus troopers came through here to secure the docks. They lined us all up. Then, one of them started asking around for me by name. But they didn't find you. Their record said I went off-grid. If I hadn't changed my identity, I don't know what would have happened. Thank you. I need support. Someone sabotaged the Metagel dispensers, and I've got some idiot preaching about Cerberus down here. No, I'm contacting CSAC. There is a counter fire on the other man of the Reapers. What matters is that I'm not throwing the Lord and Dying. This is what I need to evacuate the home students. Come on! Hey, Commander. James, enjoying yourself? Yeah, yeah. Try not to lose everything. Those clothes are Alliance property. Have a little faith, Commander. I have a little. Are you kidding me? Good to meet you. I'm Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Extranet says you're Alliance military. Take care of yourself out there, officer. There's nothing this galaxy can't beat if we all work together. Except the Reapers. Ever see the size of one of those things? My personality matrix can predict what the real Commander Shepard would say with 7% accuracy. I come pre-installed with a flight sim of the SSV Normandy. Got any pets? You look like a Varen person. Always nice to see you. Hey again. Anyone ever tell you you're one hell of a looker, soldier? Don't be a stranger. I don't really sound like that, do I? Extranet says you're Alliance military. Take care of yourself out there, officer. Mm-hmm. I believe those are my credits. Cerberus wants our help. 
And if Cerberus is good enough for Commander Shepard, it should be good enough for us. Oh, for the love of... Commander Shepard, it's me, Conrad Werner. Wow, it's great to see you again. I joined Cerberus too. Conrad, Cerberus just tried to kill the Council. I'm not working with them. Oh no. I screwed up again, didn't I? Just... I'm sorry if I ever accused you of pointing a gun at me when you didn't actually do that. I was really stressed out. What can you tell me about your Cerberus contacts? Not much. They wanted me to help recruit people near the medical station. Which was sabotaged while you had everyone distract. Oh. Oh, wait. 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 No. I'll deal with it. Just don't do anything. Okay. But I might be able to help you with... Uh, whatever you're doing now that isn't Cerberus. Conrad, I'm building an ancient Prothean dark energy device to stop the Reavers. Can you help with that? Well, I did write my doctoral dissertation on xenotechnology and dark energy integration. Really? Yes. In fact, I may be able to find some ancient tech schematics that could help you with construction. Hang on. I have an old contact. Ah, come on, Hossel. Help me out. Sorry. The war has him scared. Hossel? Gavin Hossel, the tech researcher? I did him a favor once. Tell him this is for me. I had no idea you two knew each other. Small universe. Okay, he's forwarding the schematics over. Oh no, it's in an ancient Asari dialect. We'd need a lot of ancient Asari writing to translate. I don't have that. Here, at least let me send you my dissertation. Maybe it'll help a little. Anyway, good luck fixing the metagel dispensers. I'll just be here. Not touching anything. About time. Listen, please, we just need more food. I can see the location of some ruins. Ah, Mookie. shit. On gate hit him. I hate this next. I fixed the sabotage. The metagel dispensers should be working now. Thank you. I'll get patients moving through triage immediately. Great work, Shepard. And listen, I'm sorry for... Hey, that's him. That's my Cerberus contact. Hey, hey, you! You're under arrest. Shepard. Shepard. Did I help? Yeah, Conrad. You helped. I don't even feel anything. Actually, I sabotaged his gun. It might have looked like it fired, but that was just the thermal clip overheating. Hi, Commander. It's me, Jenna. You helped me a few years ago when I was working undercover at Cora's Den. And now you're volunteering here. Right. Chalik showed me a few little tricks when he had me working undercover. Guess that paid off, huh? 
You... you saved my life. I can't believe you were willing to lay down your life for Commander Shepard. You're so brave. Oh, the Commander and I go way back. Let me give you a hand, and I can tell you about it. your footage. Thank you, Commander. I'll start editing it right away. Spectre status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Presidium Embassy. They hit where? Recognized. Please one moment, it. please. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Someone used this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D-24. I've got your briefing, Private. Let's fill you in before the squad arrives. Knowles, I found another spot where the Batarian codes were used. Holy crap. These are the remote navigation codes. Last week's crash at the docks, we thought it was an accident. Shepard. There were 117 Alliance soldiers on that ship. All human. Just like the patients at the hospital. So we've got Batarian codes. And someone with a grudge against humans. Looks like... Okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. Back 
Sector status recognized. Please select a destination. One moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay E-24, Emergency Civilian Housing. Hey there. Oh, it's you, hey. I don't believe it. Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. What's that, Commander? I'm losing your signal. Shepard. Balak. You should have killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. I've been waiting for this. Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. I didn't destroy your people, Balak. The Reapers did that. We were a proud race. A beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony. And I can't save my people! But I can end you. Balak? You were right. I should have killed you on that asteroid over Terra Nova. Shepard, you okay? Fine. This is the Batarian who was using the codes. Won't be a problem anymore. Thanks, Commander. I appreciate the help. Come on! Status recognized. Please select a one moment, please. Now arriving at Docking Bay D twenty four. Have you discovered a way to run FTL spaceships without an ESO core private to lobby? No, ma'am. Then consider this. Shepard. I don't know what to say. I'm trying to go over everything in my head. Make sense of it. That could have ended very badly. Very badly. Glad we're both still standing. We stopped Adina and got to walk away. That's the important part. I can't believe he was responsible for all of it. Was he indoctrinated? It's hard to say. How do we fight something that can worm its way into your head? I don't know. But we don't have a choice. I wanted to talk to you about that. Hackett asked me to join his team. It's a great offer, but I'd prefer to ride this thing out aboard the Normandy. Permission denied. I... I don't get it, Shepard. Hear me out. You need to be leading, Ash, not following. You proved it back there. You need your own command. I... understand, Commander. I think it's bullshit I'm getting railroaded out of here, but... Okay. With all of Hackett's resources, you can do a lot of good. I can. And, Commander? Yes? Give him hell. Count on it. Shepard, I got Anderson patched in. I was just getting him up to speed. Odina? That SOB was always power hungry. But this? He wasn't in charge. Cerberus was just using him to take control of the Citadel. What the hell for? I don't know. Not yet. Could have been a lot worse. Shepard stopped the assassination attempt on Counselor Valorn. Kyline. What? Your assassin. I'll have Hackett send you my reports on him. I'll take whatever advantage I can get against these bastards. 
Their attempts may have had at least one unintended side effect. I received word from the Asari counselor. They're requesting an update on the Crucible. Lang has them scared. Enough to send help? Mm. Yes, the Asari and Solarians are both throwing in their support now. How's your progress on the Crucible? Good. Our estimates suggest we've completed nearly 50% of the known work. So quickly? Once decoded, the schematics are designed in such a way that allows our scientists to easily translate the information. It's not Prothean-specific. Hmm. Are we any closer to understanding how to use it? That's still open for debate. Utilized in the right fashion, our scientists are convinced it can generate enough energy to destroy the Reapers. The question is, how will it dispense the energy? And in what form? You mean, how do you stop it from wiping us all out? Exactly. We think the Catalyst is the key to determining how to focus its energy, how to direct its energy at the Reapers alone. I'm working on that. You'll find the answer, Shepard. I'll send you an update on the schematics. And in the meantime, we'll keep building. And we'll keep fighting. Make sure there's an Earth left to come back to. You've always trusted me. I won't let you down. We're still in this. The gods of war haven't given up on us yet. Good luck, both of you. Anderson out. Commander, the Turian fleet is stretched thin. We need more support ships. And the Quarians are willing to talk. Understood, sir. I'll look into it. Be careful. We've got reports of instability along the Geth border. Hack it out. Shepard, do you have a moment? A contact within Asari High Command was insistent I pass on a distress signal to you. Something they can't handle? From what I can tell, they sent several commando squads to investigate. None of them returned. They didn't ask me directly, but I think High Command is hoping you might help. What's your take on this? That they wouldn't ask for help if it wasn't important. The colony's coordinates are on the galaxy map. I'll try to figure out what's going on. Something you need to see. What have you got? A group of Cerberus scientists cut ties and fled. Perhaps they finally realized they were on the wrong side. We don't know what they were researching, but they were among the elusive man's top scientists. They could help build the Crucible. Unless they're indoctrinated, and this is a ruse to get Cerberus close to the Crucible. I'm not suggesting we trust them fully, but it could be worth investigating. Has the Alliance tried to make contact with the scientists? They've been unable to find them, but they're searching. As is Cerberus. I've been monitoring Cerberus communications. I've charted signal frequency from various Cerberus cells by location and cross-referenced known ship movements. You found them? I believe so, yes. Nice work. Put it on the map and I'll give it a look. It's on the map now, Commander. Thanks.
What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? We have no information on that. Sir, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Engaging the scientists? And if I'm reading it right, sounds like more troops are on the way. Okay, set us down, then get out of here. I need these scientists alive. Holy balls, it's freezing out here. All right, just keep moving. What did these people do to bring this down on their heads? We can't hold them much longer. Jacob, how bad? I'll live. I think. This is Brent. If you can hear me, come in. Is there anyone there? This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. Is Jacob there? It's okay, Bryn. Jacob. Oh my god. Uh, I'm all right. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Are they gone? For now. But they'll be back. Uh, sure you're okay? Yeah. I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. This one's on the house. Shepard. This is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Hope you kicked Cerberus in the balls on the way out the door. We took everything we could carry. Destroyed what we couldn't. You had to know they were going to find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. But the elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Time to evacuate. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Commander, I should see to my people. Join me upstairs when you can. This guy Jacob's an old friend of yours? He worked with me to stop the Collectors. No, I'm so sorry. Oh, Jamie. Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. He's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Commander Shepard, Dr. Gavin Archer, we met on Project Overlord. That's one way of putting it. Yes, well, after you took my brother to Grissom Academy, I tried putting all that behind me. 
I don't suppose you have any news from there. I've heard rumors the Academy is in trouble. I was at Grissom Academy. Cerberus tried abducting the students, but David's okay. Oh, thank God. Commander, you have no idea what that means. It's a little late to start worrying about his safety now. I never stopped. I know you think I'm a monster, and you're right. Not a day goes by where my dreams aren't haunted by what I did to David. All I can do now is hope that one day he forgives me. What are you doing here? I strayed too far from the path. This was my only refuge. As a boy, I wanted to be a scientist remembered for doing right by the world, curing a disease or discovering a new element. Not a monster who tortured his own brother. I have to go. And I'm not even going to pretend it was good to see you again. I understand. But Commander, thank you for saving David. Both times. Make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shuttle. I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. What's the status of the guns? They're still waiting. I have my best people on it. How many scientists are here? 43, plus research assistants. How did so many escape? When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic amplification components in time. I'm sorry, Dr. Boehner. It's important work, but right now you need to tend to your family. Wait, there are families here? Children? Holy shit. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Cerberus landed a shuttle there a couple minutes ago. You win? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. No way. These are my people. I'm going. Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Ah, uh, fine. But I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. Dr. Cole? Got a moment? Of course. Don't you think you put these people in serious danger? They wouldn't have it any other way. Science must never bow to tyranny. We didn't escape just to go into hiding. We wanted to build a new life, where we could live and work on our terms. Love, family, they're all part of that. Even now. Otherwise, what are we fighting for? Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. Come on! God damn it, Marcus! I want the elusive. Chuck, I'm in here! Of course. I'm not willing to die to save this data. I told you that we should have gone to sanctuary. This elusive man really wants these guys. They are brave, but misguided. And now they may all be dead. Satellite tower.
Jacob, this should be back online now. Affirmative. But the guns are still down. You'll need to manually activate them. Head back to the front of the facility. More hostiles incoming! Activate those AA guns manually. down. Let's get over there. Failure at junction. Repair and reset. Okay. One of us has to make these repairs. James, repair this. ASAP. Will do. Ready, Javid? It's just the two of us. Yes, Commander. I'm on it. Copy that. Let's get these people out of here. Okay. The guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We can go now. There's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that could strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. All right. Let's get these shuttles in the air. 
Evacuation is go. Evacuation is go. Stand by for shuttle launch. Have the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. Here, head to the shuttle bay and... Suicide fighter took out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are... Get those people out of here. Clear the shuttle bay first so we can bring the door up, then get out to the landing pad. Roger that. Jacob, bring up the main door. Got it, Shepard. Will do. Here we go. Okay, let's get these people out of here. Enemy shuttles on landing pads above. I have them in my sights. Take out that shield generator. Jacob, come in. What's your status? Shepard, the facility's overrun. Cerberus troops are all over the place. One more shuttle of refugees to go, right? Affirmative. We got this. Just need to hold them a little longer. the last of the civilians. Shepard, heads up! The place is overrun! We gotta go! Headed to you with the shuttle! Understood. Hang on! Freaking mech just landed! Jacob, hang tight. We'll clear you a landing zone. Landing area cleared. This place is crawling. Bring the shuttle to you. Roger that. Skin of our teeth again, eh, Shepard? Nice to see you back in action. Yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive. But because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. 
And now there's something you could do for me. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course. But I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. Too bad. We could have used your experience. I have a feeling you'll do all right, Shepard. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feel better knowing you're on our side. Thanks. Shepard, when this mess is over, drinks are on me. Be safe out there. Hackett here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side could be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the Crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on Vincom. Shepard. I was hoping you'd check in again. You okay? Been putting my old academy training to use. Organizing the resistance. You know you've got quite a fan club back here. Any news we hear about the Normandy gives hope to the guys in the trenches. I know what that's like, fighting in the dark. I'm glad we're making a difference. It's more than that. A lot of these people have never held a gun in their life. When they heard that you managed to get the Torians and Krogan to cooperate, that was a shot in the arm, Shepard. Of the one thing we're in short supply around here, faith that any of us will live to see another day. How bad is it? It could be worse, but not much. Can you still coordinate any kind of counterattack? We're hitting the Reapers every chance we get. Mostly guerrilla-style hit and runs, but it's not enough. It's time we started focusing our efforts. Where? London. Something big is happening there. Our networks in the UK say the Reapers have arrived in huge numbers. I don't like the sound of that. Any more details? No. And that scares the hell out of me. Well, the Crucible will scare the hell out of the Reapers. We're counting on it. Oh, and Shepard. I meant what I said earlier about Kai Lang. The Reapers may seem like our biggest threat, but take it from me. Lang is a vicious bastard. Don't underestimate him. Noted. Then I'll let you get back to it. We need whatever good news you can send our way. That is enough. Dr. Chakwas sent word that she'd like to speak with you down in the med bay. Are you sure you want to play this game? What's the matter, Vicaria? You chicken? Commander? An opportunity has come to my attention that may interest you. What's going on, Doctor? Refugees arrived at the Citadel recently in possession of military-grade medical supplies and equipment. In reviewing our inventories, I determined we have an excess of medical supplies to treat contagion, exposure, and malnutrition. They're equipped to help injured soldiers, and we have supplies to help suffering refugees? Precisely. Perhaps you could ply your charms to broker a trade. I'll find the refugees as soon as I can. Speak with Tactus. Many of the refugees near the Citadel docks look to him for leadership. Thank you, Commander. With access to their equipment and materials, I believe I could increase the effectiveness of our Medigel. Still think you can win this, huh? I can do this all day, Scars. Hey, Commander. 
I'm glad Jacob saw through the elusive man. At least not everyone in Cerberus has lost their mind. This fight can use him. Per your orders, I have the latest reports on the Council, Doctor. Their security is in disarray, but it would still be weeks before we could attempt to position any agents in their personal staff. And it's far too risky after Odina's coup. Postpone those deployments. At once. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Busy? I have time if you'd like to talk. In fact, I could use the distraction. What's on your mind? How long it took the Reapers to eradicate the Protheans, and how long they'll need for us. It took them centuries to conquer the Protheans. We're not quite so widespread, but it would still take at least 100 years. It's selfish, but I keep thinking that if we fail, I'm only 109, Shepard. I could live to see the entire cycle come to an end. Don't drive yourself crazy about this, Liara. We're still in the fight. Only because you're still driving it forward. We finally have other leaders on our side, but none will take us as far as you can. Sometimes I wonder how you do it. The Reapers would have been here years ago if I didn't. I wish motivating everyone else had been as simple. Too bad we never found another Prothean beacon. Haunting the Council with visions of the Reapers might have saved us a few years. Well, anyone who lives through this war won't be short on nightmares. Let's talk later, Shepard. Feel free to look around. At your service. You've been through a lot, Scars. You giving up? Nah, I got more. Just don't like to talk about it. 